Hey, Dustin from D3 Imagery here. Epic moon photography. It's something that's close to my heart, and I've had the opportunity to photograph and film the moonrise and the moonset on a number of occasions, each one presenting its own awesome and unique challenge. Another challenge is finding the right ambient lighting. Shooting too long after the sun sets or too early before it rises will result in an underexposed foreground and shooting too soon before the sun sets or too late after it rises will wash out your moon and you won't have a lot of detail in the moon. So tonight's video we're aiming for a photo that strikes the balance with the right lighting kissing the foreground from the sunrise and at the same time cooler hues, blues and purples still dominating the western sky where the moon will be setting. And these conditions they don't last very long either. My destination this morning, the Breakwater Lighthouse in Frankfurt, Michigan, another gem on Michigan's lakeshore, and a famous destination actually for uh, sunsets. I'll be shooting the moon this morning on my moon bazooka, the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter, which is a spectacular lens for this purpose, and I'll be using the Sigma MC11 adapter to adapt it to my Sony A6300. But I expect to be shooting in the two to 400 millimeter range this morning based on my location and my distance from the lighthouse, which should be about 1200 feet. So hopefully you'll enjoy the journey. And if you do, be sure to like this video and subscribe. But Moonset is going to be taking place in about three hours. So let's load up and hit the road. Thank you for choosing Tim Hortons. My name is Austin. What can I get for you today? Hey there. I'd like to have a... Uh... Extra large coffee with two creams and two flavor shots of Cinnabon, please. The 222 at the window. Have a great day. You too. Oh, sweet nectar of the gods. I've got a two hour drive ahead of me and uh, I'm gonna be chasing down the moon. That's kind of the cool thing about um, moon photography when you're shooting moon sets is that uh, you're driving west and you see the moon, you know, right uh, above your head. You, as you get closer to your destination, the moon gets lower in the sky and it's kind of this exciting chase that's going on. I'm going to strap in, listen to some podcasts and, uh, you know, get ready to show up at the right time in the right place, hopefully. Just as I had arrived, the morning light was looming in the east, casting calm blue and purple hues into the western part of the sky in the direction that I was going to be shooting. At the same time, the moon was slowly inching toward the horizon as warm-toned light was about to cast itself onto the landscape and onto the lighthouse. I had already calculated a precise shooting location and mapped it, I don't prefer hectically chasing down moon alignments, so I do all of this ahead of time using Google Earth Pro, Stellarium, and some basic trigonometry. For this shot, I had planned a perfect alignment of the moon directly above the lighthouse, but on this morning, some unexpected clouds were on the horizon forcing me to make a last minute adjustment to my shooting spot. So we have the moon in the sky, and as you can see, the uh, lighthouse is just getting its first touch of light from the sun. So the timing is working out pretty much perfectly for the lighthouse to be really well exposed and for it to have this beautiful golden glow on it um, where the moon will still be quite visible as long as the clouds which you can see in the horizon uh, don't interfere if it is and it doesn't work out then um, i'll be disappointed but it's still a beautiful sunrise and we're also here for you know the experience all right we're pretty much there we are getting some cloud coverage we're settling in about 225 millimeters is uh, the focal length that we're going to have to settle with tonight or this morning.
that's it. We're done here. What a stunning and exhilarating morning to go out and shoot. Colors like that, they just don't happen every morning. And overall, I'm pleased with the photo that I was able to take home, and most importantly, with the experience that I had photographing Frankfurt Light this morning. As you may have heard from my camera shutter, I was taking bracketed exposures, one stop away from each other, three exposures, and I do this in case I want to use more dynamic range by combining the photos, or it just gives me options if I feel like one photo is just exposed better than the other. With moon photography, it's not worth taking the risk in only taking one exposure, so I generally do brackets. I was also able to focus stack the moon with the foreground, and that just allows for more detail in the final photo, so neither the lighthouse nor the moon was slightly out of focus so as always thanks for joining me for another photography trip this morning thanks for liking this video and for subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this in the future and again this is dustin from d3 imagery get out there and shoot something awesome this week we'll see you next time